Scenes from this year's Breakfast with Santa at Club Mead. Hello and welcome to the last Mead Week for 2017. And as is our custom, it's time for the annual year in review. The story of the year, it had to be Fort Meade's 100th anniversary, which was celebrated all year long. Outside of that, Fort Meade was as busy as ever, continuing to expand its role as the nation's platform for information, intelligence, and cyber operations. The next five minutes is only a glimpse. For all our video coverage from the year, check out our YouTube site at www.youtube.com slash Fort MD. Before we look back, a reminder to pick up a copy of this week's Sound Off as they take a look back at 2017 as well. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great 2018. This week's storm damaged trees across the post, but probably none as dramatic as the backyard of this house, located just off Llewellyn Avenue down the street from the Post Chapel. And if you believe the forecasters, we're in for a colder month in March than we had in February. I think one of the reasons we wanted to come to Fort Meade is because all five branches are represented here. And we had women from all five branches at the lunch today, and I was able to hear from each branch. The greatest advantage we have is in the human domain. Nobody in the world trains educates and empowers enlisted leaders like the United States military. There were owls, turtles, snakes, and even this handsome customer. CYS Youth Sports and the Baltimore Orioles teamed up for the fourth year in a row for a youth baseball clinic. Orioles Brad Brock and Darren O'Day, plus former Orioles Larry Bigby and Ken Dixon were on hand. Me TV caught up with Sinise for a moment who shared his thoughts on touring with the Lieutenant Dan Band. And after uh, I played Vietnam veteran and Forrest Gump. I started working with our wounded, and that, uh, you know, I met extraordinary people. We found some U.S. National Archive footage of then Camp Meet from 1918 or 1919. In this video, weapons trading, soldiers rolling up packs and doing drills. More than 400,000 soldiers passed through Camp Meet on their way to Europe. This is a statement that's been entered into the congressional record, um, recognizing the history of Fort Meet, celebrating it, and looking forward to the next 100 years of tr tremendous leadership here. In October 1918, it was damaged during the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. The Five of Hearts is on its way to a new home, the National Museum of the United States Army, currently under construction at Fort Belvoir. But just as the event was gearing up, the skies opened up. The improvements include a new building housing bathrooms and a new concession facility. New home bleachers seating 3,000 are still under construction, but should be finished by the home opener. And finally, there's a new turf field. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade USO hosted their latest Yum! Lunch this week. Special guests this week included Baltimore Ravens tight end Max Williams and wide receiver Chris Moore, plus a couple of the Ravens cheerleaders. This is a great opportunity because it shows us two partnerships that I think are really important. One is our partnership with the National Environmental Education Foundation, NEF, um, and our partnership for National Public Lands Day, which goes back many years, and also our support for the Chesapeake Bay program. Miss America 2018, Kara Munn was a surprise visitor this week. Miss America stopped by the Fort Meade Military Entrance Processing Station, or MEPS, on Wednesday. She was given a brief tour, signed some autographs, and met with some of the recruits. Uh, today, we are bolstering Maryland's leadership even further as we break ground on this much needed and much anticipated facility to support the state of Maryland and the Cyber Mission Force. We really wanted to do an outreach, outreach to the USO, you know, on behalf of what they're doing for us and for, you know, ser serving our country. So we thought it'd be a wonderful initiative to donate turkeys. Everyone, thank you for your kind and generous words. They are all true. <laughs>